Hello and welcome back to another one of my coin videos. Today we've got a bite-sized PO box video. Got three or four envelopes here. We'll see if we can fit them in. If not, do them over a course of a couple of videos because I'm sure, pretty sure, I'm due more posts in the next couple of days anyway. So, let's crack on. Start off with this first one, shall we? I think we'll focus on the wee envelopes because I know the big ones are from Westminster. So, we'll focus on the... Uh, the little ones first, shall we? Now, don't know if you want to send anything. Here's the address. Send me a postcard. Send me a well, a, send me a letter. Don't send me coins. I've got plenty of them. I've got far too many of them. I have problems. I'm a coinholic, so I'll, you'll see me at the next intervention meeting. Anyway, <laughs> there's Caledonian coins, PO Box seven six seven eight. Perth, BH2, 1JH, send me a nice letter, send me a postcard. I'm happy. Thank you. Anyway, let's crack on. They've even went to the, the trouble of doing my logo on the back, which was lovely. That was a nice wee surprise to see in the post. So I'm going to open this up. Let's see what's inside. All right, I've got a letter here, and on the here thing here it says incriminating evidence underneath. So let's get rid of that, shall we? We'll move that over there, safekeeping. And we've got this. Dear Caledonian Coins, my name is Harry, also known as George Dog 29 I'm 11 years old and been watching your videos for quite some time now. I am I'm just addicted. <laughs> oh dear, I'm addicted to coins at the moment, mate. I know how you feel. So I thought for all the hard work you put into videos, I would send you a little gift for my appreciation towards your channel. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing okay during these tough times in lockdown, or at least when I'm writing this we are still in lockdown. <laughs> yeah, still happening up here, mate. Right, anyway, let's get off that subject before you <laughs> get <them> monetized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the coins, I hope you like them. I think three of them are over face value. Love the videos. Keep up the awesome work. PTO, you're sincerely Harry, George Dog 29. So that was the DPTO was uh, incriminating evidence page. Let's see. I shall read the incriminating evidence off camera. Thank you, Harry. <laughs> Don't need to send me coins, don't feel obliged to, but it's really generous of you, thank you very much. Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh! Look at those! Now, I love the EEC stars. That's a really good condition one too. Look at that. I do like that one. And a big shout out to anyone who works in the NHS at the moment. Tough times. It's been tough going for these chaps and girls. They, they've kept me alive all my life with all my underlying conditions. And they've got that, they've been going that extra mile at the moment through these uh, tough times. There's a lovely Johnson's Dictionary as well. Oh, look at this bad boy. Look at that! Uh, oh, wow! <laughs> That's just incredible. D-Day 1994-50p. Wow, mate, you, you went above and beyond with this P.O. Box letter. Thank you very much. That is impressive. Wow, thank you very much, Harry. I will read off the, the bit under incriminating evidence off camera. So... We'll, we'll keep that we'll keep that off camera shall we <laughs> thank you very much Harry now this one this feels heavy <laughs> let's find out what's inside it there we go now there's a re there's a reply address on here so I'll try my very best not to expose it and hide the evidence all in incriminating evidence today isn't it here we go, to Caledonian Coins, it's Peter Holt here. How are you? I've sent you some random world coins as I no longer need them and thought, you may like them. Smiley face. 
Should you wish to reply, let's not show that bit. So, we'll go straight to the next bit. Keep up the good work and please could I get a shout out on your show? Absolutely, P.O. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. So yeah, Pete Holt, let's have a look at some of these coins. I'm not going to show your address. I'm going to put it up next to Harry's incriminating page as well. So I've, I've got a wee filing system so I don't lose track of where I am and what's what. Let's have a look at the world coins. This is going to take some doing, isn't it? This bite-sized video's already grown. Let's see. <laughs> Now, quite a lot of coins here, so let's see if we can get a wee zoom in and uh, have a look at what's what. Quite a lot here. This should be on its own wee video, shouldn't it? There we go, you'll recognise that one, it's a nickel. God we trust, Liberty. Denver Mint, I can tell that. Look at that, it's a nice one. Pop that there. Oh, what's this one? What is this one? 45. Is that Greece, Helvetica? I think. I don't know. Oh, I'm going to need Coinoscope. So I'm not totally clued up as Laughter is with these ones. Big shout out to Laughter, by the way. I'm just going to be two seconds. I'm going to get Coinoscope. So yeah, I'm not as clued up as uh, a few folk are on these things. What? There we go, let's see. Uh, oh, I need two hands. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. What we got here? Right. And go. Switzerland, right, nice one. So that says at 20 wrapping. Brilliant. I don't if I don't know it straight away, then I will use Coinoscope. It's Mexican? Mexico? Yes, Mexico. Oh, I found a few of the the coins that look like two pound coins anyway. 1971. Look at that bad boy. I like the steak with the, the bird. It's a Mexican restaurant just down the road from me that's uh, got that on the flag outside the front door. 1994. India. There we go. Well, I'm getting an education today. Look at that. Look at that, Deutsch. Deutschland. Five mark. That's a big coin, isn't it? Well, look, there we go. Like to return to the classics. 1916, one penny. There we go, George V. And there we go, 1947, one penny, and George the Sixth. There's a halfpenny, 1966. Queen Elizabeth II, in the early days. 1959 halfpenny, another Elizabeth II. Another halfpenny, 1963 this time. Elizabeth II again. Oh, what's this one? Belge, Belgium, 20 francs, 1988. Albert II. Oh, that's an old one, 1916 halfpenny. George V. 
literally been through the wars, isn't it, that one? There's an American quarter, quarter dollar. Here we go, D for Denver on that one, 1986. Rupee, 1996. India. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> One cent. United States of America. 1952, Denver Mint. And there's another one, this time. 2010, Denver Mint. There we go. Deutschmark. So, Fifenic. Oh yeah, I remember them. I mean, I was in Germany not long after in 1992 or 93. I can't remember. I have to go back and check. So I was a kid at the time. I went for three weeks. That was good times. Another two Fenic. There we go. 1971. Poland, 2007, 2009, can't quite tell. It's 2009. What's this one? Greece, is it? That's definitely Greece. I've had one of these before. Oh, yes. Certainly have. That was 1984. Let's turn this the right way around. Yugoslavia! Oh wow, that's my first Yugo coin. There we go. Nice one. And what's this one? 10. Curious. Turkey! Ah, Turkey. Nice. Five francs. French francs, nice one. Cyprus, my family that lived there. Benchmark to Fennec again. More Greek ones. Fantastic. Greek coinoscope. Pretty convinced it's Greek anyway. I'm ninety-nine percent sure. If I'm wrong, and I'm wrong. Yep, there we go. Greece 10 drachma. Oh, what's this one? What is this one? Five cent. Oh, I've seen this before somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to use Coinoscope. Coinoscope is your friend. It's my friend tonight for sure. I'll, I'll try better. There we go. Netherlands. Yeah. I'm sure they have these on the Euros as well, don't they? Nice. Cyprus. 1990. Wow, that's pretty impressive. What a haul you've sent me, mate. What a haul. 
あれどうしないなチャオナウ、ステイセーフ。Look after yourselves and see you in the next one. Ta-ra!